Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing another latest news video on some news about some Harry Potter Pops that we have coming out. We have now got some glam shots of these brand new Potter Pops and I'm going to go through and show you them today and talk about which ones I'm most excited for to pick up. Now first pop we have here is Harry Potter holding a mandrake. This is Harry in his abology clothes from the Chamber of Secrets movie. I think most of these pops are actually based on the Chamber of Secrets movie. I love the new design for the Harry Potter boxes. I think that looks really cool. Much better than the box we had previously for Harry Potter Pops. And I think this is a cool looking pop. Another version of Harry. I know there's many out there, but you could never have enough Harry Potters. And this one's a cool one. And then we have Ron in his Herbology clothes, holding a mandrake as well. And um, it's a really cool looking pop again. I like Ron Pops because I think the ginger hair really stands out on these pops. And as well as his ginger eyebrows. He's looking really good. And I just, I like the look of these um, Herbology pops. And there's no prize for guessing what the next pop is going to be. That's right guys, it could be none other than Hermione in Herbology clothes, holding on to that mandrake. And like I said, I love the design of the boxes. The new Harry Potter boxes are really looking cool. And I can't wait to pick up this wave. Like I said, mostly Chamber of Secrets pops. And um, Hermione and the, all, the, both of the boys are looking really good in their Herbology outfits. And then we have young Voldemort himself here, Tom Riddle. And um, this is a really nice pop. I'm really glad they decided to go for Tom Riddle pop, which is really cool. There is a Target exclusive Tom Riddle pop, which I'll show you later on in this video. But um, this one's really nice. I really like the fact that you can see the Slytherin tie. And I just think it's a cool character to go for and a cool design and a good idea to do a Tom Riddle pop as we already have a Voldemort and a Tom Riddle will be great for Harry Potter fans and my collection. And then we are getting this Gilderoy Lockhart pop which is looking really nice. I really like the outfit. The pose just really suits him down to a tee with the big quiffy hair. It's a really nice looking pop and it's a really cool character and it's something that I'm really glad we are getting for our Harry Potter collections. I mean I've got most of the Harry Potter pops now. I'm still missing a few and Gilderoy Lockhart would be one I definitely do need in my collection. And continuing with that Chamber of Secrets theme, we have Ginny Weasley here, and she's writing in Tom Riddle's diary. Obviously, that's the diary in Chamber of Secrets that Lucius Malfoy slips into her cauldron, which causes the whole plot of the film. But yeah, this is a nice pop. I really do prefer this to the normal standard Ginny Weasley, as this is how we were introduced to the character in that second film. And I really do like the look of this pop, holding the diary open and writing in it. And then, guys, the best one till last, we've got in Nearly Headless Nick. Now this is a great pop, obviously the character in Harry Potter is played by John Cleese and it's a fantastic character, we only see him in the earlier films, unfortunately we don't see him in the rest, but this is a really um, great idea for a pop and I'm going to love to see how the logistics of that nearly headless thing works when the pop's actually released. I think it's a really nice design and a really good see-through colour character, that blue wash throughout, looking really nice, I really do like that. But um, yeah, let's wait and see how the head this thing comes out. But this is one I'm definitely going to pick up. And it looks to be my favourite one of this And wave. then guys, we have a few store exclusives at the end here. We have this Basilisk here, which is exclusive at Target. I'm not sure if this is going to be a 6 inch pop. I imagine it would be. But I don't want to say for, for sure because I'm not definitely um, in the know. But if it's a normal size pop, that's great. I just think a Basilisk is a really cool looking um Pop. I really like those golden eyes and the green scales. I really think it looks a good looking pop. And no matter what inches it's in, I think it'll be a good pop to pick up. Hopefully we get it over here in the UK as well, not just from Target. And then we're getting this blue outfitted Gilderoy Lockhart, a Barnes & Noble exclusive in the US. Apologies about the bad quality picture. I could not find a better quality picture of this exact um, exclusive pop. But we are getting another um, Barnes & Noble exclusive uh, Gilderoy Lockhart, hopefully again available here in the UK. And then guys, like I said previously in the video, we are getting this Target exclusive black and white Tom Riddle, which is really nice touch. I really do like this. I think that because he has the flashback scenes with Hagrid, where Harry sees him back in the day and he's all in black and white in the flashbacks, I think there's a really, really cool um, sort of touch to do him in a sort of blacky, white, greyish sort of form. I really like that. I really think that detail is really nice and I really think the touch for fans is really, really cool. I would definitely pick up both of these Tom Riddles once this one's is available in the UK. Then guys, last but not least, we are getting this 10 inch Dobby holding a sock pop exclusive to Target. They are starting to do these super sized 10 inch pops now. And this is um, the latest Harry Potter one they're doing. I think Target normally have all of these ones and they're doing the Dobby pop as well. So if you like these, look out for this one. But I think they're always a bit too overpriced and I'll stick to the regular small ones. So guys, let me know below in the comments what you think of these net brand new Harry Potter pops. I really like a lot of them and I imagine I'll pick up at least 80% of these pops here. Probably all bar the Dobby pop. I'm not sure about the Herbology pops just yet because I have other versions of Harry and Ron and Hermione. But you never know. So guys, let me know what you think of them in the comments below.
And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate all of you that subscribe. And it'd be great if you can subscribe to this channel for more news updates and other Funko videos. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.